Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, it's been like a month and a half since I posted anything. Um, just wanna say I'm sorry, but I'm back. I did not feel uh, comfortable or that it was appropriate to post, um, you know, in the past couple weeks because of everything that's happening that's still happening. And I know I only have 60 followers, but I just really wanna point out that uh, my channel is a Black Lives Matter channel and um, I just really want to make sure that my followers know that so I'm gonna do my best to try to keep putting the word out there on my social media pages and stuff so please follow and subscribe I'm gonna make sure to put a whole bunch of links down below in the description box about Black Lives Matter uh, things that you could do here in Chicago and maybe in other places if uh, you happen to be uh, a follower that does not live in Illinois I'd be more than happy to help uh, people figure out who they should follow to get information. For today's video, I'm super excited. Uh, it's I'm talking about my LASIK journey. So I recently had LASIK eye surgery and I took a couple of videos in before some of the, um, like the consultation and the surgery. So I'll be popping in those videos in between this video, but this video is just me talking about my entire experience. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. Let's get started. Now, before I get into like the procedure and everything, I just want to talk about like my eyes and my prescription. Um, and also another thing that I learned, and it's something that I say all the time, and I and I don't mean to be offensive, is I'll say like, oh, I'm like blind as fuck. I don't mean that. I, I understand that I'm not like legally blind, although I uh, do have a huge, uh, I had a huge prescription. Uh, I was a negative nine, but I, I'm checking myself on saying derogative words i don't mean that and i don't mean to offend like people who are actually blind and can't have correctedness so for example even though like they would say that i'm blind because i have a negative nine prescription and uh when you're not wearing contacts or glasses i can see but because they are corrected and because i can wear contacts and glasses i am not a blind person am i making sense but basically yeah my prescription uh, has always been really bad. I've never really been able to see like that well without wearing glasses. So as early as I can remember, I've been wearing glasses since I was maybe four years old. Like that's like my memory has always been glasses. And then I want to say when I got to the fifth grade is when I got contacts for the first time. But uh, like most people, putting stuff in your eyes is like really weird and uncomfortable. So it, I... It wasn't until the seventh grade when I actually started wearing contacts and oh my god so embarrassing I used to wear like the royal blue contacts or like green contacts so I um <laughs> I was such a weirdo and I would wear like Aeropostale and Hollister and be like such a preppy kid I wanted to be white so bad but I didn't realize being Latina was a beauty eh but anyway yeah so I growing like as I got older my prescription got higher and higher um yeah to the point where like i literally could not see if i'm not wearing my contacts or glasses everything is super blurry um uh, like it's it's really hard to walk around uh you're not supposed to shower with your contacts on but i shower with my contacts on uh just because like i want to be able to see and like if i'm trying to shave you literally can't shave or do anything when you're in the shower uh, so I would just always put them on. People who wear contacts and glasses kind of gain like superpowers in their other senses because like there are times where I just don't want to wear my contacts and I'll be in the shower and like I know where everything, I can't see anything, but I know where everything is. I know how to, I know how to get around my house and that's because you have to really rely on your other senses. Yeah, so I guess I had heard of LASIK surgery. My mom had it, I want to say, when I was like born so she had me when she was 26 which is how old I am now so she had it around this age um but yeah I don't know I kind of just like assumed I would have bad eyesight my entire life and I never really thought of LASIK surgery as something that like I would need uh, but as I was getting older all my um optometrist is that what they're called the optometrist like the eye doctors would tell me like hey you might consider getting LASIK eye surgery that way you don't have to spend so much money on contacts or glasses and I don't know I had heard about the procedure uh they used to do it with like a knife but thankfully now they have like lasers that do everything which is super cool uh and then my sister actually got she's two years older than me she actually got lakes LASIK eye surgery about two years ago when she was 26 as well 
So I kind of just have been thinking about it and like I was stuck in quarantine and I'm like, oh, you know, this is like the perfect time if I wanted to get like any kind of surgery, this would be the perfect time because you could like stay at home and relax. So back in May, I was just kind of looking at different places to go and my sister went to LASIK Plus. I called up uh, the Oak Brook location and basically what I did is I set up a um, virtual consultation because at that time we were still, I mean, we're still kind of in quarantine, but this is when we were like balls deep in quarantine. And um, yeah, I had a virtual consultation. So I just had like a Zoom meeting with like a stranger, but he was really nice. I wish I remembered his name. I think it was Aaron. So shout out to Aaron at LASIK Plus. You were so nice and uh, I was so nervous and you really helped me want to go get the operation. He's great. Um, so yeah, he kind of talked me through everything and tried to see if I was a good candidate, but Aaron really helped answer a lot of questions about pricing and everything. And that's stuff that I'll talk about as well. So yeah, so for my consultation, I went to Oak Brook, uh, Oak Brook, Illinois, and it's really cool. They take your temperature before you come in. They, uh, make you wash your hands. Everyone's wearing their masks. Uh, everyone's far away from each other. And yeah, I met with, first you meet with like, um, I don't know if they're called nurses. I'm super sorry if I'm messing this up. Uh, a nurse or a technician or assistant. Um, some cool lady, ladies that were there um, that like take you into the room and they see your vision through the machine where they make you stare into like this thing and they make you um, look for, I don't know if, if you guys have ever gone to get like your prescription altered or when you go get your contacts you know your what when you get an eye exam there you go eye exam Vanessa um I've only had like 20 million eye exams um you have to like stare into this machine and uh it like kind of gets in focus with your eyes and you have to look it's like a green field and there's like a red farmhouse that you have to look and then it like kind of comes in focus and they just do that to see like how your eyes work machines are like super crazy and then they do another one where you like sit there uh and um they look kind of like i don't even know they make you like open up your eyes and you're not allowed to blink and this you see the light going around and this machine like kind of captures every single area of your eyes uh, because for the LASIK exam exam what they do is they like permanently re-alter your cornea um which is how you're able to like see so yeah we did that and then I met with the doctor who does like uh, the optometrist who does the like eye exam where they like cover one eye and you're reading you know a whole bunch of letters from across the room like which one's better one or two one or two so they're kind of just getting a a gist of what your prescription looks like my latest prescription was a negative eight and a negative nine um but that was two years ago so it could have been crazier i believe it stayed the same then they you know he looked at my eyes uh, and looked inside my cornea and then they uh put drops in your eyes and they dilate your eyes uh, just so your pupils can open up a little bit better and they can see everything a little bit easier. So yeah, I'll uh, put this video now. So I just met with the nurse and I had my eyes dilated. So they put drops in my eyes. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm just kidding. Um, they put drops to make them like a little bit more open. So I got to wait a couple more minutes and then it'll probably be completely black like the pupil. Um, yeah, so it was pretty okay they were just all looking at my eyes and now i've got to wait for the doctor to get like the actual exam cool so yeah that was my experience with the consultation everyone was really nice um uh they told me that i did qualify to be a candidate and then they set me up uh to like make my appointment for my surgery and that's when we talk about like cost um so i think it's it's definitely different for everyone uh, so because my sister referred me, I actually got, I don't know how much, I got like a discount for it. And then because of my insurance, they knocked off like $800 for my insurance. Uh, so I think it just depends on what insurance you have. I have the Medicaid insurance, um, shout out to Obama. I think it just depends. So originally it was supposed to be five, a little over $5,000 for me, but because of the, the discounts I was able to receive, uh, I ended up paying only 3500 like a little over 3500 which I know sounds like a lot, 
uh, but they signed me up for this thing called care credit so it's like you sign up for like a health credit card and uh, basically they give you um, like a limit so I think mine was like five thousand dollars of what I could spend so thankfully my surgery was three thousand five hundred so it was able to cover the entire surgery and then I just have to like pay it back um, they gave me 18 months I believe it's no interest uh, the nurse helped me set it up and everything she was really cool shout out to Christina she was so nice uh, she laughed at all my jokes shout out to her and um, <laughs> yeah so that was really cool and then um, I did uh, schedule my surgery and I did this at Lincoln Park so this is um, right by that Nordstrom and like Whole Foods it's like on that block uh, the only reason that I did it the surgery at a different location is because I kind of just really wanted to get it over with because I was getting really nervous and to get it done at Oak Brook I was supposed to wait like another three weeks and I was kind of like can I just do it like this week or next week and they're like yeah so uh, so yeah I did uh, schedule it there and then I'll talk about surgery day. Okay, so um, My sister and I are about to go to my LASIK appointment. I know I look really wild because I just showered And also I just like never wear my glasses. So I feel like I always look crazy um, Yeah, my appointment for the surgery is right now and um, Apparently it's like really fast. It's like 10 minutes and then I just come home and have to nap basically for the rest of the day so I'm a little bit nervous for it, but um, I think it'll be worth it. Um, <laughs> I was telling my parents I took a shower today, but um, because I can't wear my contacts the day of the surgery, I um, you know, was wearing my glasses, but I don't like to wear my glasses in the shower, so I took my glasses off, and um, I was like, wow, this is the last time I'm gonna shower like as like a blind <laughs> person. Um, just because when I shower and I'm blind, um, when I'm not wearing my contacts, you literally can't see anything everything is very blurry so I just that's why I always pick specific colors for my um, my shampoo and conditioner so because all I could see is blobs of color uh, so I'm always like oh my herbal essence you know shampoo conditioner are yellow uh, so I just like look for the yellow color and I and obviously like by touch and like all my other senses I already know where it is but I still can't see it sometimes I'll grab I have to like really look at it close to see if I grab the shampoo or if I grab the conditioner so it's gonna be really crazy to not see that anymore, but yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so surgery day. Um, this was a day where I was kind of like, I was just so nervous, but I also was like excited to like not have to wear contacts and glasses. For like reference, I was down to my last pair of contacts and I knew that like, I just had to do it. I had to get the surgery because I, I just didn't want to order contacts. For me, for example, um, Oh, the amount of money that I'm saving like that's that's like the big reason why I really highly su suggest getting LASIK eye surgery for me uh once a year I would get a year year's worth of contacts and a brand new a pair of glasses or at least like if I keep the frame if I like the frame I'll just put in new lenses uh I would end up paying of around 800 to a thousand dollars a year uh just for having bad eyesight like isn't that kind of fucked up uh it's like also like the fact that women have to pay for for pads and tampons just because we menstruate like i can't like i i can't control that and i can't control that you know what i mean it's like that's another story but anyway uh yeah so that's a lot of money and i didn't want to order another pair of contacts um so i'm like yeah i just have to do it so yeah, the day of surgery, you go in. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. When you're at the consultation, they ask you if you're like nervous. Uh, and if you are, they uh, prescribe you some Xanax that you don't take until the day of the surgery. So, so when you get to the surgery day, they have you uh, sign a whole bunch of paperwork. And the day of your consultation, they give you this folder. So it's your guide to LASIK plus custom LASIK. Um... And yeah, and it has a whole bunch of information in here, um, just like about them and who they are and stuff. And then they have a whole bunch of paperwork, which I don't have right now because I already signed it. Um, but yeah, they sign all that and they give you your receipt and you pay for your surgery. So, you know, I took out my care credit card and I gave it. So they sent. So you have to apply for it. So for me, though, so the consultation was like two weeks before the surgery. So I did like 
consultation that day I applied for cure credit I got it like a week later so I had the card with me so just make sure you don't like don't forget the card yeah so when you get there they give you like uh, more papers to put in your folder and they give you this little piece of paper which has a URL and it takes you to like a video of what's gonna happen post your operation uh, and how you could put in your drops and that's something I'll show you guys later there um, they give you a whole bunch of drops that you're supposed to put in that I'm still putting in and I'll apply some right now so you guys could see how I do it um, yeah they give you like papers on what to do what not to do what to do before your surgery what not to do you know like uh, you can't wear your contacts like a day or two before the surgery uh, what types of pills and medication to bring you know stuff like that and, like you can't wear makeup and stuff I really like that they included this this is like a whole like summary about the doctor so I was with Dr. Um, Gerald Horn MD at the LASIK Plus Vision Center he was really cool he explained everything he did a lot of dad jokes um, <laughs> which was funny uh, I did feel very comfortable when I when I was there and um, everyone who worked there really makes you feel good like it's honestly it's okay if you're nervous like they're like putting lasers in your freaking eyes like <laughs> it's totally okay to be nervous and then they have like these like after treatment procedures like what to do after your treatment and stuff like that uh what you could for an entire week you can't no exercising no swimming no makeup and then for an entire month you gotta keep doing these drops so it's really cool and it's very vital information that you need so you get there the day of surgery you sign all the paperwork you read through everything you watch a little video um the day that i was there my appointment was like at 1 p.m but i actually didn't get the actual surgery until like 4 4 or 5 p.m uh, because when I got there, I guess there was like a piece of the machine or something that was missing. So they had called um, like a technician to come in and like fix it, uh, which kind of already made it nerve wracking because the procedure is actually only like 10 minutes. So when you go, you like they prep you for the procedure, then you just go in and then you like go home to take a nap. Um, so it kind of made it like more anxiety inducing the more that i had to wait and then the thing um that kind of sucked but i understand because of like social distancing and stuff um after your procedure you're not allowed to drive home yourself because like you literally can't see because you you have to wear like the glasses which is these um and you can't see everything's like super blind like blinding like by the light you like can't see because the light is so bright and all you want to do is like close your eyes um so your driver actually so like my sister came with me shout out to my sister um she came with me but she like dropped me off and then she had to go wait in her car so she was also waiting like all this whole time with me so shout out to my sister so it's kind of like nerve-wracking when you're waiting the whole time and you're already nervous but you don't have anyone to be there with you because she like couldn't be inside it was just just the patients which i totally understand i'm not mad at that i get that we got to be safe with this virus going on um but yeah that kind of like sucked a little bit yeah so after you like fill out all the information you're just kind of waiting there we were in there for a long time so I kind of like left they told me it was okay to leave and I went and just we my sister and I we got some Mediterranean food at this restaurant across the street you know we just kind of walked around and we just kind of sat there and we just like sat around and just waited we talked about boys for a little bit you know gossiping and uh finally got the call to go back inside so I went back inside and as soon as I got back in everything was fast so um right before the procedure procedure <laughs> i can't talk um they give you like some medication to take so i had to take this was for me probably the hardest part of the entire situation uh they give you like a little cup and they give you like three advil but it's like they were like big and two tylenols and they were really huge and then i took one xanax for my anxiety uh, so most people don't take it, but if you have anxiety, they'll they'll prescribe it to you. You just gotta let them know, but I'm sure they'll ask. Um, so yeah, that was like three, four, five, six, like six pills that I had to take. And one thing about me is I hate taking pills. I'm really bad at it. Like just the bigger ones, like I get, I get so nervous and I get so anxious. The Tylenols were like, they weren't that big, but they were like that kind of big. Um, and I was so nervous because for pills that big, I usually need food 
like I'll chew on a banana or a piece of bread and then I am able to swallow the pill with the food, which I know in my head sounds like that's more things to swallow, but it just makes sense in my head. Um, so I was kind of nervous because I didn't have any snacks on me. I didn't know how I was going to take it. I even broke it apart. Um, I really had, and I was so nervous because there were so many people and oh my God, one of the doctors was like so cute and I was not trying to look like a dumbass in front of him. Cause you know, I was about to see him with 2020 vision, boo. Um, I was trying to impress this guy, even though I looked crazy that day, but I don't know what I did. I gave myself like a pep talk and I, I took it and that was probably the hardest part, but yeah, they give you like a good 20, 30 minutes to let all those pills kind of like, um, set in your body. For me, I've taken Xanax in the past for my anxiety and, um, honestly, because I have anxiety, I don't really feel that it does anything to me. I... I can't like I could never tell I think maybe the first time I took it I just think that uh, Xanax does not work for me uh I know like some people take it like not for anxiety reasons just to like pop a Zanny and get high and they like feel really good I personally just don't feel anything uh when I'm on it so I can't tell if it worked because I was still kind of nervous when we were like doing the procedure but anyway yeah that happens and then um they put numbing drops in your eyes so you like don't feel the heat of the lasers cutting out your cornea um yeah so you're like sitting in a waiting room just kind of like chilling you don't really feel the numbness in your eyes to be honest i didn't feel anything maybe for like mm, yeah i don't know if i felt anything in the numbing for the eyes and then like before i knew it they called me into the room and i have like i'll put up a picture but i have like they put this, I have to put my hair up and I put like a little cap on and I'm wearing a mask uh, the whole time, obviously. But they tape down your mask and then they put like some stuff right here. I don't know, you'll see in the picture. The procedure. Okay, so when you get in there, um, right away it's like dark in there and you can see where the machine is. Obviously I'm still wearing my glasses and then I have to take off my glasses which was like the last time I took off my glasses. Kind of like, I wish I had a moment, but like, you know, we have to go in there. Uh, but it's honestly kind of like, it goes by, I'm telling you, it was like a five, 10 minute thing. Like it was so fast. Oh my God, I've never snapped before. That was cool. Oh, ah! sorry, I've never known how to snap. Is it, oh, okay. Yeah, you take off your glasses and I'm seeing blurry for the last time. I can't believe it. As I'm walking over, uh, to where the like little table like thing that I have to lay on a uh, little bed or whatever you call it so yeah you sit there and then they kind of he kind of just it's like him and his assistants and he tells you like what's about to happen and I was so nervous I was like holding on to the chair like this or the table like this um but basically they put a shit they put you on there's two different machines you go to so they put you on one machine and they put a shit ton of eye drops. I don't know what it is. It's probably more numbing drops. Just like to clear everything out of your eyes. All these fluids. So I literally felt like a whole bunch of stuff coming out of my eyes. Like all these drops. Like it, it got super wet. And then they cover one eye. And they put... I don't know what it is. Because obviously I couldn't see. And it was super blurry. But they put... They open up your eyes. And they put something in your eye. That I that keeps your eye open. So you're you literally can't blink. And that was something that I was so nervous about. That I was going to like... Like what's gonna happen if I have to blink or like uh, like that? I don't know. Just like how how's my eyes gonna how are my eyes gonna keep open and there's gonna be a fucking laser like slicing through it? Literally, you can't like you can't blink. I don't know what it is, but you feel. That's gonna sound so weird, but it feels like something scooping out your eyes. I know that's so weird, but I promise it's worth it. Yeah, you like put it. They like put it in there, and then he said, "Okay, your eyes gonna black out in like ten seconds." And then my eyes started to black out. That was so weird. Like, I, I was so nervous because I thought, oh my god, I'm literally never going to be able to see again. Everything was so black. It was really scary um, for, like, a second. Uh, and then they just start, I don't know what they're doing. They're doing something to your eye. I don't know if this is the laser part, but it was, like, 30 seconds. And then they switch over to the other eye. And that was only, like, 30 seconds as well. And your, your eye also blacks out. And then... Um, they walk you and then they you get up and they walk you over to another machine which is i'm assuming another laser like i don't know what it is um and they kind of do the same thing over again to your eye and then again to the other eye 
um that's also like 30 seconds to 40 seconds and then they're done it was like super weird and then when you get up there's people who said that like oh my god right away there's like a clock on the wall and right away i was able to see and i couldn't stop crying my sister said that during her surgery she was able to see and she like started crying and she hugged the doctor for me i kind of was like freaking out because i was i still couldn't see like i i felt like it was the same like i was really blurry like i could see like on the peripherals but it seemed like i was underwater like it was kind of blurry still and that's what he said he's like it's gonna feel like you're underwater for a bit but they give you the glasses right away so you put these on right away and um you could see like i walk out and my sister's there outside and then she walks me to the car and then we drive home and i would say the worst part of the procedure is the drive home uh because it was still like you know bright outside and um you the numbingness kind of starts to go away so like your eyes are just like watering and it's like burning not burning and like not in like a crazy way i don't want you to think that like it's like a crazy burn it's just like oh my eyes are burning because of the sun do you know what i mean like it's just so bright and there was traffic so because i finished at 5 5 p.m is like traffic hour it took us an hour to get home so for an hour and i had a sweater on and i just had the sweater so i had the glasses the sweater on my head and i was i had my eyes closed the whole time and it's just like for an hour i'm like oh uh, my sister said for her that part was like the, the hardest part she was like yelling and screaming and she's like wow you did such a good job i didn't like that i didn't scream and i didn't yell but like i was yelling on the inside but i was just like oh, i was i was really just trying to focus on my breathing and listening to the music or my sister would just talk to me uh and then you get home and you're supposed to nap for four to five hours and they give you all these drops uh so they give you this um the sheet of paper that describes like a picture of the drop and how many times and these are just like notes that i did for like what times i want to do so the first drop that i had to do was from this little baby called pre pred prednisolone acetate one percent slash moxifloxacin that's a cool name 0.5 percent so on treatment day so the day of surgery as you put this drop every two hours while you're awake so as soon as i got home i put a drop in each eye and then took a nap so you're supposed to do this before your four hour nap and then starting on day two uh, you put this drop in four times a day for 10 days. So my 10 days actually ended yesterday. So, and it's like out. There's like, ah, there's like nothing in here anymore. So I don't have to take this anymore, which is like awesome because this is the worst one. Um, it kind of burns a little bit. Like you could just like, like not burns. I would say stings a little bit. You put in your eyes, but yeah. So what I did is I kind of gave myself a time frame. So I would put this on as soon as I woke up or like 9 p.m 9 a.m 10 a.m and then i would do it between like 12 p.m and one and then like again between three and five and then again between like seven and nine p.m um that but that would change because you know i'm also like still living my life and sometimes it changes but this one i would carry with me at all times just in case i like maybe didn't make it home the next one are these blink preservative one so these are like lubricating eye drops and they give you like three big boxes and it's like these tiny i wish i had them still but i'm i already finished them so what i did is i went and got some at walgreens because you're gonna run out and it's i ran out on them on day nine and i'm on like day 10 of 30 days of putting them on so i got this at walgreens it was kind of expensive but i mean my eyes are dry so i gotta put them on uh, relief with every blink and these like they feel so good it's nice and cool in your eyes um just because your eyes are gonna get really dry because they just like got lasered i hate putting drops in my eyes but what the the nurse told me is that you like kind of aim for right here and then you roll your head around and then you put it in oh my eyebrows look good okay i gotta hold this so you kind of god i can't do this long oh it went in but i'll do it again you put it like right there and you kind of roll and it goes inside you should, probably shouldn't be this close don't be this close to your eye because tilt your head up that kind of oh god hold on i am fucking this up it's because i'm holding this camera hold on there you go 
oh yeah and it feels really nice and really cool and um yeah just make sure you're careful with your lashes a lot of my lashes have actually been falling out because this these things are like super strong um yeah oh someone's at the door but yeah that's how you do it and then we have these that the, uh, the doctors gave us it's called blink gel i don't know if you could see gel so these feel very like it does feel kind of like jelly like you put this on right away when you wake up in the morning and then right before you go to sleep uh and then the last thing is these called hydro eyes so it's like these pills i'll show you how big they are uh and yes i do take these i know these might not seem big to other people but this is huge for me you take two in the morning two in the two in the evening so four a day for 30 days so this just kind of like it's support for dry eyes and then they also give you these <laughs> goggles that like you use to shower like i would i honestly tried not to shower for like the first week but i felt so gross because you can't get water in your eyes for like a week uh, or something like that let me see what it says yeah wear provided goggles and glasses uh in the shower for a week so yeah, I put these on, but a little bit of water would come down. Uh, but it did help like to wash my hair. I just kind of put this little thing underneath right here. And I was able to shower. Uh, it was kind of annoying, but now I could shower without it, which is nice. You just gotta make sure you don't open your eyes and get like water or soap in there. The thing that was annoying was I did have to wear these glasses while I slept uh, for an entire week. Uh, the only reason it was annoying is because um, I like to sleep on the side so like it would kind of like go like that and it would kind of hurt um and then this part here it just started hurting or like it started getting really sore but the reason we do this is so we don't scratch our eyes or rub our eyes or touch our eyes which I totally understand I'll, I'll do whatever the doctors say it's just kind of annoying I'll also put in some pictures of like what my eyes look like the day after so you guys could see I forgot to mention that there is a one day follow up, which is uh, you go in the day after your surgery uh, so they could see how your eyes are healing and how your cornea is doing. So here's me the day after the surgery. Hey guys, so I'm at my follow up and they said everything looks good. These are my eyes right now. You could see they're a little bit like red. I had some vessels at first, but I can see so clearly right now. I just have to put in drops for like the next 30 days and take some pills but i just like i can't believe i know it looks like so weird because it's bleeding but i can't believe i could see it hasn't really like it just hasn't really set in yet like i don't think i don't think it's gonna set in like for a while but like the fact that i'm not wearing contacts right now and i could see is so wild so yeah i'll keep you guys updated with uh healing and stuff but yeah this is uh day after surgery you can kind of see yeah, so overall, I highly suggest it. I can't, I like can't believe I could see. This honestly feels like some sort of brujeria because like I just wake up, I just woke up and I was able to see, you know, usually I'm used to like, I thought it was weird. Like, so one of the first few days, like after my eyes were healing, I woke up and I saw and it was so clear. And I, my first thought was, fuck, I slept in my contacts. Like I freaked out, but then I was like, I'm not even wearing my contacts. Do you know what I mean? Like, ugh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, like you're so used to doing something for like the past 20 years that um, it's like so weird when it's not there, but I'm getting kind of used to it. I'm almost at two weeks healed. Uh, it takes, they say it takes around two to six months to like fully heal and like, my eyes look pretty good for the most part. There's still a little bit of redness, but like not much. Also shout out to my eyebrows. I got them laminated yesterday. Uh, um yeah so that's pretty much me i um that was my entire you know lasik journey procedure uh and then i just wrote down a couple questions that I, some people asked me uh does it hurt i know i kind of talked about this some people say they didn't feel anything for me i wouldn't say hurt i would just say it was like uncomfortable and if you have anxiety like i do and trust me i have like I have really bad anxiety. I've uh, been between medications for a really long time. So 
if I could do it, trust me, then you could do it too. But just make sure you do your research and you talk to them. They really help you. Uh, they make you feel like really good in the room, whether it's, you know, the consultation or the surgery. Uh, cost. So yeah, like I told you guys, mine was $3,514. Uh, they do discounts. I think like if you're a teacher, a veteran, um, they ask you like what you do and stuff like that. And then I also got a discount because of my sister. Um, there are a lot of people who were saying they're like, I've always wanted to do this, but I'm really scared. Um, yeah, I was terrified. I was like really nervous. This is like a huge change in your life to like go from like a negative prescription or like a bad eyesight to like 2020. It's, um, it's scary. It's a huge change. So I don't blame you if you're feeling scared. I would say don't get it because I'm telling you to get it. Get it because it's going to help you out in the long run. I personally am getting it for financial reasons and out of convenience. I am tired of spending $1,000 every year. Even though this was like over $3,000, this is going to save me so much money a year. Like this is probably one of the biggest reasons why I did it. And also oh, convenience, like it's so annoying to come home and like you're so tired but you have to take your contacts off and the thought of going to wash your hands and taking it out that's like a lot of work that wakes you up so that's like also annoying um i could like shower see in the shower now which is really crazy i used to have to um pick out like i said in the video pick out specific colors of shampoo and conditioner just so i could see in the shower like what i'm choosing um yeah, but I say, like, if it's something you want to do, um, get it. Like, it's up to you. It's, 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 they're your eyes. It's your body. And it's, it's literally your choice. And don't, like, let anyone tell you to get it. I didn't want to get it for the longest time. I didn't think I wanted to. I'm only 26. I actually was going to wait until I was 30. But then I was like, well, I'm going to be 30 in four years. That's another $4,000. I might as well pay $4,000 now and then never have to pay for contacts and glasses again. But also if you're like comfortable like with having glasses and contacts then you do you like the glasses are beautiful like I, st I still have some like really cute fashionable glasses that I'll probably still wear. I have blue light glasses that I'll wear just because I want to protect my eyes so honestly glasses are beautiful they're very stylish uh, I like how they frame different faces so if you just want to wear glasses that's fine I mean once I get into my 50s, I'm probably going to have to wear reading glasses, but the next 30 years are going to be pretty dope, not having to worry about anything. Um, as of right now, like almost at day 14, I I feel good. There, there were a couple times where I felt a little dizzy, a little lightheaded, but I mean, it's literally my eyes focusing. Like I have brand new eyes. Like they literally cut off permanently. Like they permanently rearrange my cornea or whatever. Um, so I, I totally get that. So just like be careful wear wear your sunglasses when you're outside. Um, and yeah, if you're a contact or glasses wearer and you have a bad prescription, I, I highly suggest you do this. Uh, the younger, the better you're gonna, I, once I got it done and I was literally able to see the next day, my first thought was, wow, I should have done this as soon as I graduated high school. Like I wish I'd done it when I was 18. Uh, Would have saved me so much money and so much time when I was in college and like all the years after that. So um. Yeah, I highly recommend it. Uh, and if you guys, uh, I'll put all the LASIK Plus websites and stuff down there. If you're interested, you know, pop my name around. Maybe I'll get like a cool referral um, incentive. That'd be awesome, you guys. If you do get it, uh, I wish you the best of luck and like great healing. And if you don't, then who cares? You're a bad bitch and you're a negative eight ass. Don't need nobody to tell you what to do. So thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for some more fun videos that I have coming up this month. I'm really excited to get back in there. Please stay safe, everyone. Wear your masks. Um, social distance when you're at the store, six feet away. Like literally mind your business. Don't be around people. Uh, and yeah, I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Bye.